Good evening, Dr. Bhatt. Thank you very much for joining us today at India M Two M N R T Forum. It is indeed an honor for us to have Bill Track associated with the forum as an exhibitor. Uh, may I request you to please begin with a brief introduction about yourself, um, and if you could also enlighten us a little more about your association with Bill Track, how the idea originated and the journey uh, thus far. Myself, I am uh, Narendra Bhatt. Uh, I run Bill Track. I was one of the founders. My co-partner Balbir Khera is the other founder. Uh, Bill Track was uh, <coughs> Bill Track is an IoT engine company. Uh, it was intended to fulfill a need in the Indian marketplace for a broad range of IoT solutions that will be emerging. So, what we thought was appropriate was to build a platform that could address a myriads of uh, uses across uh, uh, a diverse country like India, and to make it flexible enough that it can. Uh, Operate in a wide variety of different circumstances, whether it is in uh, uh, homes, businesses, hospitals, industrial settings, and also to try to fit within the realm of what people are operating in. So basically, retrofit as much as possible in existing situations. So we thought these needs are typical in a condition like India, in a situation like India, where people are uh, busy, they don't have too much time, they can't expect too much disruption. So we try to create a solution that will. Fit within these needs, and now we have to see whether the markets will accept it, and in what form they will accept it. That's something that we are just going. A lot is being said and done about M to M in IoT space, uh, especially with regards to the potential it holds in India for the stakeholders. What is your take on it, and how do you think the market is developing and shaping uh, up? See, the only thing I can say about where it is heading towards is it's going to grow. Uh, the specifics of how it is going to grow, who's going to be there, who's going to live, who's going to die, are all open questions. I think even to the point of saying, you know, what technologies are going to survive is something that is very hard to predict. It's such a dynamic area that uh, every morning I wake up, I see four new companies in the area. Uh, so uh, with uh, with you know with a dozen new ideas. So it's really hard to say how this is going to evolve, other than to say it's going to get bigger. Uh, the, there is a underlying issue in terms of customer awareness, but as we have seen, acceptance of technologies like smartphones has happened very rapidly. So I anticipate that IoT in specific solution segments is also going to be embraced very rapidly. I don't know if people are going to be picky about which protocol or which solution, as long as it adds value to their life and it comes in small and bite chunks. They are, I think they will be willing to absorb it. The larger and more enterprise oriented it is, the less likely they will be able to bite into it in a quick, uh, quick way. So I think the, the, the beauty of the mobile phones was that you know, they were able to try and try it in a very small way, then go upgrade themselves to smartphones. So there was a natural uh, kind of uh, from a low cost to a high cost, uh, you know, it's a significant portion of their income today to pay for a smartphone. But they were willing to make that investment because they already had the experience of the low end. I think IoT will go through the same process, bite-sized solutions that add value and then they will absorb bigger and bigger. You're portions. here today at India m 2 m IoT Forum. How has your experience been as an exhibitor at the forum and what do you think about the entire platform? Do you think platforms like these are important for the growth and development of the industry at large? Uh, I was very pleasantly surprised on, on various aspects. One was uh, the amount of networking that was feasible. Uh, we have an exhibitor, I didn't expect a lot of foot traffic, but there were a lot of people, a lot of questions. Um, you know, uh, both curiosity questions as well as trying to figure out how to make it work together as partners and other things. So, uh, not just from people who are visiting, but even my fellow exhibitors were uh, were good. Uh, you know, uh, were some things that I didn't, uh, uh, I wasn't aware of. So, overall, my experience has been very positive on the exhibition side as well as on the conference side, where uh, or the forum side, where we. Uh, I learned a lot of things that I didn't know, both about where India was headed from a government side as well as from the individuals who are involved in the marketplace. Um, and then I networked a lot. I, I think that we build relationships which I think over the next year are going to play out and we'll see how we work with each other. We all have to work with each other because I think uh, uh, we all together can raise the water level and then all boats will float. I think if we, uh, we are not competitors yet, even though we, we do make similar solutions, uh, I think there is a bigger uh, opportunity to grow in the marketplace by building awareness rather than uh, you know fighting with each other at this point and this forum helps that process. Thank you very much Mr. Bhatt for sharing your views and thoughts with us. It has been a pleasure working with BuildTrack for the second edition and we look forward to receiving you once again in 2016 for the third edition of India M2M and IoT Forum.